If you've been paying attention, in the last episode, I said that everyone has their favorite Ninja Turtle. And today, we are going over my absolute favorite one ever. I don't know what it is, but Raph has always been the coolest turtle to me personally. And seeing him use his weapons was a huge reason I wanted to not only start martial arts, but learn weapons in particular. Turns out that Donatello ended up using one of my favorite weapons, but that's besides the point. Plus, he had the Night Watcher suit, and to be honest, little DJ had some anger in him, so watching him go through and just mow down enemies in that Night Watcher suit was peak for me. Maybe it's a bad thing that Raph was so relatable for me, but here we are regardless. And so let's break down how to fight like in my opinion, the best Ninja Turtle, Raph, and learn how to use his weapons, the Psy. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a super row hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. And for those of you that don't know, this is the next episode in my series of breaking down the entire Ninja Turtle family. And uh, if y'all blow this series up, I will not only do Splinter, but I'll even do Casey Jones. Ooh, man, Casey Jones was legit. So if you want me to get to those guys, definitely drop a like and comment down below which Ninja Turtle is your favorite. But let's, just like the others, get into breaking down and learning how to fight like Raph. Now, if we're gonna learn how to fight with Life Graph, we need to understand who Raph is. Raphael is the red rage-filled turtle. Each of the turtles is how like has their own niche, more or less, that they fit into. Leo has his discipline and skill, Donnie has his tech and intelligence, and Raph puts his superior strength to excellent use. Just like the other Ninja Turtles, you're gonna want to learn ninjutsu for the stealth and tactics that it will give you. Obviously, they're Ninja Turtles. I mean, it's in the name. And you're gonna want to dabble in some gymnastics and parkour for the flipping that they do both in combat and just as traversal throughout the world. And both of which you're gonna have to take to absolute top tier, like Olympic level. However, for Raph specifically, you're gonna want to include boxing and judo. Boxers are some of the strongest hitters on the planet. Able to punch at what would seem like superhuman levels with Francis Naganu, and I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but we'll go with it, holding the record for the most powerful single punch. Striking with a power of nearly 130,000 units on the power cube, which translates to hitting with a similar force of a 12 pound sledgehammer being thrown over head down on a target. And that may not seem super crazy until you realize that it's also the power of a Ford Escort hitting someone at full speed. So yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna give us the power of wrath. We are also going to use Judo for its ability to throw bigger opponents around like ragdolls. Raph, being the strongest of the turtles, obviously has to be able to toss his enemies left and right like they were nothing. So making sure that we also have the ability to do the same thing is kind of important. I mean, we have a job to do for our team, which makes me think about the possibility that there's people out there that are gonna take all of these videos that I do and become the rule of life Ninja Turtle equivalent. And for those of you I said, please, please, please tag me. I would love to see that. And if y'all lived in New York, I will personally order you guys a pizza. However, now that we're looking like Raph with our physical fighting style, we need to talk about his weapons. Now, every time I talk to people, they always call these things mini pitchforks or something along those lines. So it's time to set the record straight for what they're actually called. They're called Sai. S-A-I. Sai are a Japanese melee weapon used for blunt strikes and stabbing. Yes, you heard me right. They're used for blunt strikes and stabbing, which is kind of surprising for most people because they are so often depicted as blades with Raphael and Electra using them as blades many times. But traditionally, they're actually rounded or octagonal shapes, and uh, like many other Japanese weapons, they started out as farming tools, and eventually farmers would use them to defend themselves against attackers, and then that became the weapon that they are today. In fact, they were specifically used to catch and break swords, which the fact that Raph and Leo fight all the time is, again, perfect. 
And to learn them, we are gonna to have to dip into Okinawan martial arts. Notably, Kabuto is a great one to start with. Having five different forms or kata that use the Sai in particular. This will teach us how to effectively use them and if we mix in some XMA uh, weapon work, we'll be able to do all the kind of spins and tricks that Raph knows how to do as well. Because yes, although weapon proficiency doesn't necessarily uh, get used in combat, being able to do it helps you understand your weapon in ways that other people would never be able to. Which takes us to the rap inspired move that we're gonna learn right now. So we're actually gonna have a tutorial inside today. We're gonna take my side and learn how to do this move right here. Now, here's the thing, there's a huge caveat to learning how to do something like this with a side. One, either you have to have some decent finger strength, well, you kinda have to do, have that regardless, um, but you'd also have to have relatively light size, which I will leave linked down in the description. But two, you have to make sure your size have a significant uh, bend on the inside of the, the, the prong. If it's not bent quite enough, it won't work. For example, these are significantly heavier and uh, a significant less bend in the prong, if you can see that there, which makes these a lot harder to do. Not impossible, but significantly harder, so just keep that in mind. However, we're gonna start with our side. We're gonna put our index finger, you can do any finger, right? You can use the middle finger if you really want to, but we're gonna, we're gonna use our index finger for today and we're gonna put it in the top prong with the blade. Not, it's not actually a blade, but it's going away from us. Obviously, if you're using a bladed side, don't do this, but we continue. The key is to get the tip to go up and the back to go down and that makes your circle as you Wiggle your finger on the inside to keep the spin going. Getting it started is not really the hardest part though. Once you add the momentum, you can just keep the rotation going and it's not super hard. However, getting it to stop is a little bit more challenging. So there are a couple ways you can get it to stop. One is just simply timing your opening, right? You can get the spin going and then once you find your opening, grabbing the, the side to get it to stop in whatever way. You can grab it this way, you can grab it this way. Um, I've seen that it's more easy to grab it underneath simply because of where your hand's facing, but it, I digress if either one works. The more fun way, in my opinion, is to give it a toss, meaning finding your timing and on the up momentum when it carries itself up with the tip of the blade, you're gonna pop your finger up and allow it to spin in the air a little bit, allowing you to get a nice toss as well. But before you do it, you're gonna wanna get a basic forward toss where the tip of the blade goes up so you can understand how to catch it once it's in the air because this trick does require a little bit of a prerequisite, which I try not to do very often, but sometimes it's just, it is what it is. I figured I get asked how to do this so often that it'd be better for me to just show you in this tutorial rather than do a whole combination and have you try and figure it out because you know I had to use that move because Raph does it literally all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It really means a lot and uh, I really appreciate the support that you guys have shown. Um, and remember, if you want to see the other Ninja Turtle videos, definitely check out the previous ones, the other two that I've done already, and subscribe so you don't miss when I drop Mikey's video. And hitting the bell so you don't miss it will also make sure you get notified when it goes live. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but Lift off. just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to